All right, welcome back. We've got another blade for you, this time Cold Steel Gross Messer. This is a single edge war knife, so it's actually not considered a sword. Uh, in Germany at the time, swords were banned, so they started forging knives instead. So this is a single edge blade. Got a nice thick spine to it as well. We're gonna get some close up looks in just a second on that. Take a look at some specs on it and also do some cut testing. Let's get to it. Overall length of this blade from the very tip of it, see this little looped pommel here, all the way from the tip, this very broad single edge tip, kind of looks like a Bowie style blade than anything. No back edge to this, but you can see it's got that little sweep to it as well. Uh, overall length, a little bit over 42 inches, all the way from the tip to the pommel. Blade length itself is 32 inches on the single edge sword. It is a sword, but it's considered a knife, so that's why I keep doing that. So no back edge at all to this. 1055 high carbon steel blade. So Cold Steel does a really good job on this. Um, when we do the cutting on this, just know this is a blemish. So if you hear that little rattling, that's because this is a blemish item and we're not actually gonna send you one like this. We just use that for the cut testing, that way you can get the fresh ones as well. Handle, we've got a hardwood handle with two pins running through it. Noticing we have a full grip for two hands. This cross guard is a lot longer, similar to how you'd see with a two-handed sword. And then you have this little guy right here, the blade catcher, or I believe it's called the nail that they have on the side of this. That way if there's contact blade to blade, they can't slide down and cut your hand on the way out. It's, if anything was a glancing or there's some blade to blade contact, that's not running down your forefinger. That's good news, because then you don't have to cross guard alone just to rely on. You also have this in case there was a mistake in the alignment of your blade or there was some kind of blade blade contact where that would slide down. So I actually really like the handle as well. You'll notice it's not a round handle. You'll see that show this way, flat on both sides. That way the edge alignment is really, really proper. You don't have to worry about anything being off alignment and then your wrists look all funky like that. So keeps it nice and aligned, cross guard is in line as well as a little blade catcher on the side here. This blade, we have a threaded pommel. So a nice little loop here. This is all steel. So as this slides down, you get that little bit of a grip retention for the pinky. Similar to how you'll have with some Filipino swords as well. You'll have that little indexing here. That way the pinky has some retention on this side. Uh, it's really sharp. Uh, as if you couldn't tell already, Cold Steel does a really great job on these. It's labeled as very sharp on our website. Not razor sharp, not hair shaving sharp, but it's definitely functionally sharp. Uh, three pounds, eight ounces for this blade, so a little bit over three pounds. But because this is really well distributed through the handle, this is actually a really, really easy blade to swing around. And it feels really good in the hand. Very proper design for this Messer or War Knife. So really, really great blade, very simple. Uh, you'll see some other war knives that will sometimes be single-handed, but this one that Cold Steel's offering has definitely a really great grip for two hands. So from here what I want to do is go ahead and do some up-close looks at this blade in the scabbard and out of the scabbard, and we'll get to the cut testing. Let's get to it. All right, moving on to the Cold Steel Gross Messer. We took us some specs on it, some up-close looks, and now we're going to do some cut testing on it. Let's get to it. Damn! Look at that. Still went through it. But you know what? You know what? We are gonna we are gonna hang this back up. Interesting. Look at cut. We're using different mats now too that we're using for a, a different supplier for these. I'm not saying that as an excuse, but see, it's still still busting it through. Still a good edge on it. A little bit of scuff marks on it, just from the water. Let's uh, let's hit it again and see what happens. Okay, kind of a, kind of a tear on the way through, but still doing the job that's supposed to do. All right, so there you have it, the Cold Steel Gross Messer, this war knife. Um, pretty cool blade, uh, cut relatively well. Um, I will say it's pretty interesting to have a single edge blade of this size even though it is kind of like a war knife more than an actual sword, but pretty awesome blade. If you like this blade, you want to see more Cold Steel products that we have available at Cold Athena, just like this one, we actually have it in black as well. If you want to not worry so much about corrosion or rust resistance with your blades and cleaning them, 
we have that one available as well. Just click the link in the description box below this video. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and as always, I'll talk to you soon.